Now, I wouldn't say I'm a tight Yorkshireman, but I'm certainly a careful Yorkshireman. No, I'd say you're a tight Yorkshireman. I must admit, the idea of paying for distance sticks has always gone through me a little bit. Mm. So I love this little product. I mean, this is inspired, I want to say. These are nice, aren't they? Yeah. These are, uh, can I say, bespokely made or... Something. I think so. Yeah, these, these are a bespoke item for Wickersley Angling Centre, what uh, one of my pals makes for us. And or I've asked him to make these for myself because two, two reasons is I've got my measuring sticks. So you've actually bought some? Yeah, I've got some. And they are quite expensive, but I think if you do a lot of feeder fishing or natural fishing or any, well, any kind of fishing, to get your distance now is probably one of the most important things in feeder fishing and keeping at the same distances and things mm -hmm. like that. Cause like we were fishing yesterday, we were fishing with a traditional feeder rig, but then we wanted to fish a method over the top of it. So we need to be at the same distance. It's no good guessing anymore because obviously your, your, uh, your anglers have took it to the next level. So distances and lengths are utmost. Now, I've asked my pal to make me these for a particular reason. I've got my measuring sticks, which already come with a, with a cable, but um, I basically, that's my to-go to measuring length. Now, as you can see, we're using a cheap bank stick over that It's a very expensive carbon bank. <laughs> <laughs> and we're using my finger on this end, but this is set at two meters. And I don't think you need more than two meters. I do see some of them have got five meters, and I'd bloody need a skateboard to get from one end to other and I'd end up in a right tangle. But for me, two metres is the optimum length. So I've had, I've had a couple made, one at two metres and one at three metres, just in case we're going extreme distances and it just does make it a bit easier. If you're going over 80 metres, three metres is a better one because you can do it quicker again. But oh, up, to, oh, up to 60, 70 metres, I just find two metre distance is the, is the optimum distance for, uh, for me counting. But the reason I've had these made is because I do a lot of um, natural fishing on natural venues and I'm sat out on a platform in the water, my measuring sticks are only between 12, 12 inch and 18 inch high. Now, when you sat out, sat out in the water, you might be sat in three foot of water. So my measuring sticks, and unless I get up off my box and have to traipse all the way up banking to do them. So what I've had these made for is I can use these on anything. I can use them on my traditional uh, measuring sticks, but they're also to put on extended bank sticks or things like that. So when I'm out on the platform, I can have these set up at the side there, or to my left, right, back, whichever, whichever way I want them. But I can have them set up on two bank sticks in deep water so I can still do my rods if I want to change my distance or if I crack off and have to reset up. I can't imagine you ever do that, do you? No, it has been known. Only once or twice, <laughs> but I do do it occasionally. Um, you can do them off your, off your platform without actually gaining off your box. So you can have them in the water, in deep water, on two bank sticks or something like that, and you can carry on measuring up. So that is, one, that is the main reason I've had these made. So... You might already have some measuring sticks, but you want a couple of different uh, lengths of, of um, um, cord. So you can just buy these as spare ones to go straight onto your bank sticks, but you've got your five meter one, you've got a two meter one, or you can have a three meter one. And how much are they? Um, I think it's eight quid for the two meters and 10 quid for the three meter lengths. So you just buy them like that, that's all you get. Is a piece of rope with two uh, rings on the end, so they fit on most extending bank sticks and that, you know, really, really strong bank sticks. But if you do do a lot of wading and things like that, or you just want a couple of different lengths, because like the good, the other good thing about these is Tom, sometimes we go to that many different venues that you might have a different old hole for a different venue, i.e. I've got a feeder old hole for Southfield and, and places like, um, at Ferry Meadows, but then sometimes when I go on canal, I have a different odor with just a couple of feeder rods in there. But you can just keep the, you can keep a couple of these wrapped up in your in your hold all, and then you just get your bank sticks out on bank, so you're never without your measuring sticks. 
you can just keep one in your carry-all or something like that so if all ever happens you've always got a set of measuring sticks i.e a bank stick or you can go borrow a couple of bank sticks but you've got the length of cable that you want to measure with if you that if that makes sense absolutely no so nice little product perfect up. for the careful yorkshireman i'm saying very very good for the careful yorkshireman but don't don't use uh, an up pole section like this one so martin sees it in shop 